In this video tutorial, we are going to be answering the construction question for 2020 paper 2 GCE. Straight away, we'll read the question and begin to answer. And the question reads, answer the whole of this question on a sheet of plain paper, on a sheet of plain paper. 5A, 1. Construct a quadrilateral PQRS in which QR is equal to 6 centimeters, angle PQR is equal to 90 degrees, and angle QRS is equal to 120 degrees. Line RS is equal to 7 centimeters, and line PQ is equal to 10 centimeters. Uh, A2. A Measure and write the size of angle QPS. Okay, so it's a quadrilateral once again. So it's a shape with four sides. So roughly it should look like that. We've been told it should be labeled P, Q, R, S. QR is 6 centimeters. QR is 6 centimeters. And angle PQR, PQR is 90 degrees. Angle QRS is 120. QRS is 120. RS is 7 centimeters. RS is 7 centimeters. PQ is 10 centimeters. We, are, we, we, we have PS, which we don't know, but question 5A2 says measure and write the size of QPS. QPS. They want us to find the size of that angle. Let's begin to construct. We know that PQ is 10 centimeters. So let's do our 10 centimeters. Ten centimeters. We label P Q ten centimeters. Our R is going to be formed somewhere there. We are told it's six centimeters. So let our uh, let's measure our compass to six centimeters. All right, that's six centimeters. That is six centimeters. So you stand on Q and you draw six centimeters. We have been told that the angle PQR is ninety degrees. So we measure a 90 degree angle there. And so we connect. Arrow be formed there and it is six centimeters. Then we are told that R to S is seven. So let's measure seven centimeters. That's seven centimeters. So stand where R is and do that. Somewhere, somewhere there. That's seven centimeters. However, we've been asked to measure the angle QRS 
as 120 degrees. QRS has to be 120 degrees. So let's measure the 120 degrees using a protractor. So we're going to bend our paper in that way. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, one, ten, one, twenty. That's one twenty. And so we connect with point R there. Going to touch that arc. Wonderful. Beautiful. It's, it's coming out well. It's coming out well. So that measurement here is 120. That's 120 degrees. And um, that's where S is going to be. And that is 7 centimeters. So where that arc and that line have met, that point, that's point S. And so we connect it to P. So we have constructed the quadrilateral. However, we, we, they want us to find the angle QPS. What is QPS? What's the size of QPS? So QPS is going to be, use your protractor to find it. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. 65, 66, 67, 267 degrees. That is a 67 degrees. Let's go to question 5B. Question 5B says, on your diagram, draw the locus of points within the quadrilateral QPRS, which are 8 centimeters from R. 8 centimeter from R, so you stand on R, locus of point, which should be 8 centimeters from R, this should be 8 centimeters, to equidistant from R and S, equidistant from R and S, meaning it should cut across like that, making the distance from here to R and the distance from there where the line is to S being equal. A 3 is draw or rather construct the locus of point equidistant from PS and RS. PS and RS, so it's going to come, S is common, so it's going to be something like that, cutting across like that. So let's carefully construct that and see what we get. Okay, so the first question, is 8 centimeters from R. Let's measure our 8 centimeters. Stand on R. That's eight centimeters. That's eight centimeters from R. The next one is uh, equidistant from R and S, so. Stand on R, create an arc there. And another one, downwards, sorry. You make sure that it's neat. The moment that uh, you have lines, just make sure it's neat. So that one's not totally done, let's remove it. Yeah. 
let's reconstruct it again. It's done on um, okay. Stand on S and do the same. Don't be confused with the so many lines crossing. Uh, here it's it's this point you're looking for. Is this arc and that arc is crossed, so they cross. They meet there. And that one, so it connects the two points. Wonderful. So this is equidistant distance of R and S. Lastly, draw a locus of point which is equidistant from PS and RS. PS and RS. PS. And RS. So if this one should cut across there. So feel free to rotate the paper in a way that you'll be able to do it properly. So I, I feel we should do it this way. Um, stand on S. To do that. And that. Enlarge it. I want it to be formed outside there. So I'll make it bigger. And I'll make it stand on that point which I've done. The, this small arc which is done here and this other arc which is done on this other sorry, this other arc on this other side. So let's we'll do that. And I'll stand here again and to do the same so where they have met the two i connect to where s is so this line is the equidistant of ps and rs Okay, construction is coming up well, it's coming up well. Let's go to question C. Uh, question 5C says, a point X within the quadrilateral PQRS is such that it is less than or equal to 8 centimeters from R, nearer to S than R, and nearer to PS than RS shared the region in which X must lie. So again, X there has three conditions to satisfy. The number one condition is that it is less than or equal to eight centimeters. So eight centimeters is ending somewhere here. So it's within this region. From the arc entering this side. That's the first condition. The second condition is that it is nearer to S than to R. It is nearer to S than to R. So it's nearer to S than R. So this line is determining whether it's nearer to S or it's nearer to R. So this side of the line is nearer to R, that side is nearer to S. So we have been told that it is nearer to to S. So we know that it's within this region, however, on this side, nearer to S. And the last condition to be satisfied is that it is nearer to PS. It is nearer to PS than RS. It's nearer to PS to PS than RS. So this line is determining whether it is nearer to PS this side or 
RSD cell, so it's nearer to PS. So this region that we are referring to is this one. So there. That is where X must lie. That marks the end of 2020 Paper 2 GCE under construction.